in this part we will work with a realistic example where we will have a search box and you will be typing some text and have a button that you click and it will go to the server side and fetch some data from the server and display those search result in the ui to use this we will create a component and we have seen how to create a component so we will go to the command line api terminate the current processing create a component ngg component and we'll give it a name called search so that we can search in this component and within a few seconds it will create a component as usual and to see this component is working correctly we will hit ng serve first and then we will go to our app.component.html file where currently we are using app circular instead of this guy so we'll get rid of this guy and we would like to add search component here you will see in the folder you already have the search component and if you open the component here you will see the selector app search so we will copy this guy and if we create the html tag then we will save it and we have to go to the browser and we'll see search works that's how we know that search component is currently getting displayed here our goal here to have a input text and a button so let's do that in the search.component.html we'll open it and get rid of this search works we'll create an input tag under it we will create a button text on the button is called search if we save it now go to the browser you will see this get reloaded to a text box where you can type and when this is fully functional you would be able to click on the search and you will display the search result below this text box to load data from the server the best practice is to use a service and if you are not familiar with a service service is something like somebody provides some kind of service that's why it's called service for example if you think of amazon and you provide some instruction maybe some send some money then it send the items to your home that means they are providing a service and you give them some command since we are using angular cli for this tutorial creating a service is super easy we will go to the github page of angular cli and if we scroll little bit you will see bunch of scaffold command and one of them is service and it's pretty similar to the one we are familiar with ngg service and the name of the service so we will go to the command line and we will stop current execution and we'll use this command ngg service we'd like to create this service inside a directory so we will give the name of the directory and then we will provide name of the service and in this example i would like to use github apis to search users who have profile in github that's why i will create a folder called github inside it i will create a service with same name github if i press enter it will create two files and give me a warning created the service.spac which is the test file and it also created a service file and there's a warning the warning you should pay little attention in this time it says service is generated but not provided it must be provided to be used so keep this in mind and we will run ng serve so that our code is always running now we will go to the visual studio code and if you scroll you will see a, like a github folder inside this you have two files one is the service another one is the unit test if you open the service you will see you as usual have something from angular core importing the injectable that's on top of your service class and it has a plain constructor to make an http call you have to import the http module in your service so we will use import and and this import would be from angular so we will type angular and slash http and then we want to import the http we will just type http http would be imported second thing we have to do we have to create a property in this class so that we can use the http module from any method we create in this class so we will create a private http and then this would be type of http if you didn't saw this colon and and then a some kind of name this is declaring type by using the type script so if you are not familiar with typescript i will recommend to google typescript and spend some time 
about TypeScript. The goal of this service is to load data from the server. So we will create a method here called get user. And first we will not return anything from here. For now we will use a hard coded search text. So that's why we will create a constant search text and we will set a value as JS. And then we will have the APIs for the server side. In this example, I will use GitHub APIs where I can call an APIs by providing a search text and API will return me all the user profiles which matches this name. We create a constant of URL which is a link to the GitHub APIs and it is HTTP and then api.github.com slash search slash users and after that we pass a query parameter q is equals to and since we want to use this hard coded text for now we will add search text here and after this we need to use this http property of this service and we will do it by typing this dot http and then we will see multiple method that http can do in our case right now we will use the get and then pass this url after this we will call the subscribe method and inside this subscribe method we will use an input parameter res which means response and we will use the es6 arrow function inside this we will create a constant named data and the value of data would be res.json so what we are doing here we are using http to call these apis and then we are subscribing to the api call when this is done we are getting a response and after getting the response, this is our callback function where we convert the response to a JSON and set it to a constant data. After that, we will console log this so that we want to make sure that we are getting return from the APIs and then we will return this to whoever is calling this. The next step is to call this method from the search component that we have created. So we will go to the search component and the most powerful file in the search component is search.component.ts we will get here and if you remember there was a warning when we created the github service it says that it's created but not provided so we have to do the providing work here first we will import that service here and i know that it is in the github folder so i will go to the github folder and then get the github service and from this github service i want to import the github service which is very simple and then you see on top of this search component there are few metadata like the selector template url and style urls i need to add one more here so i will add a providers and providers takes a collection and we will provide github service in it so the providing part is done the next part is to add a property through which we can use this github service and adding a property during construction of this class is very simple we have done it before we'll just create private give it a name github service and the type of this service would be github service if you are not familiar with typescript this might look little odd to you this is just telling that the type the strongly type of this property is github service so we will have access to this github service next thing we will do we will add a call to this github service from this method and what we will do we will use this dot github service and call this method get user for now a quick way of checking whether the our call to the service is working or not now if we save this and go to the browser and we will not see any visible changes but if you open the dev tool and go to the console tab you will see there is something is logged as object if you expand this log you will see total count 39000 and it also have a collection of items and if you expand this you will see some people's github profile where you will see some information about the user profile so we are successfully making a call to the server and getting some data. Our next step would be to display this data in the website. We have to do few more things to show this data to the website. 
first we need to go to the service and do some work in the service so if you go to the github service right now this method does not return anything and so we have to return something and to do the return we have to take some help from the stepchild that your girlfriend angular 2 has and that is rxjs so we will import rxjs here and we will load it from rxjs slash rx and from there we will load something called observable so that we can make this method observable to return something from this method we will use this method and we will type observable and we want to observable of anything from this method and you will see like the red is quickly line here because this method isn't returning any observable right now we have to do two more changes here previously we have a subscribe here that's why we were consuming the changes here now we want to move this subscribe in our component so that we can consume the json from there and that's why we will convert this subscribe to map so that we will go through every response every time it comes we will convert it in a json and then return the data and we still see this quickly line because this function isn't returning any observable we just have to add a return in front of this get so if you add a return in front of it the red squiggly line is gone and that's how you create a method that calls to the server and then returns the data the last thing we need to do here is to get rid of this hardcoded search text and take it as an input parameter so we will copy this guy take it as an input parameter and then get rid of this line and that's how we will take an input parameter of the search text we will add it as a query parameter in the last part of this api call and then we will make an http call we will get a return from here and if we save it we will get an error in the uh, search component because uh, here we take an input parameter to this method but we are not providing any parameter from this so this is some goodness of typescript that if your signature doesn't match it will give you an exception in the code editor as well as during compilation we will create a property in this class and that's why we will have a public and name of the property would be search text and this would be the search text we will getting from the input text box and to get the value from an input text box we have to do few more steps first we have to create a on key up event handler for this so we will get an event named key up and we will create a method named on key up and we will pass the event object to this method and we will save this guy we will go to the component and then we will create here on key up and we take the event as an input and inside it we will set the value of the search text so this dot search text would be value of the event dot target dot value so whatever the value in the event that's happening in the input text bar would be set to this search box and we also have to change this guy to the click handler of the button so we will go to the html we will create a click handler for this and we will type click and then we will create a method get users and we will call this method from here we save this guy we will go to the component and create another method get users now we have to move this call to the service inside the get users so we'll just take it from there and then we will paste it here and we have to pass the parameter that's why the red is quickly line so we will pass this dot search text and then we have to subscribe if we don't put the subscribe it will not make the call to the service so we will do the subscribe and inside this subscribe we will pass a callback function that will take like the response and we will use the es6 arrow function inside this we will just console log 
to the response we are getting that's what we all need now make sure this part is working then we will worry about the binding to the ui we'll go to the browser it should be reloaded by now and if we type js and we search we get the response in two different places so we are getting this one is in the github service this one is search component so far so good so what we will do now we will show this result we we'll see there are few properties that return one is total count let's show the total count first so we will go to the component and then when we get this result set we will set it to a property we will have the two properties and the first one would be public type search result and in the search result we will be just set it here by typing this dot search result and the value of the search result would be the response we could have extra properties here if we want and that would be the search count and the value of the search count we would set here and that would be like this dot search count is equals to race dot total underscore count and we will save this guy our next step is to bind this search count to the html and we know how to do it we will go to the html below we will have a paragraph where we will bind this uh, to the search count and we know this is search count and we'll save it now we will go to the browser and this gets loaded and we'll type js maybe lower this guy a little bit and we'll head js we will see that 39 thousand results is here and if we want to bind the result here for example we have like 30 items and we can below we can look into the items we are returning and every item has a login name we will try to display the login name in the search result so what we will do we will go here and then we will create a list item which would be ol here and inside it we will create a list item where we will loop through the items and we have done this before this is ng4 and inside it we will create a block variable let and we will say user of search result dot items because all the profiles is under items of search result and we will display user dot login if we save it now go to the browser if we have done correctly but we see an error message and what it says it says items of undefined it cannot read the items of undefined why this is happening the reason is happening is in the beginning we don't have any search result search result is undefined and that's why javascript is breaking because it cannot get the values of items from an undefined so what we can do we can add a condition here star ng if which tells that only run this html when you have values of search result and we will save it now we will go to the browser and looks like it's uh, got reloaded or we will reload again and we will see if there is no exception and we can do the search again here so for example we search for js again and we will get bunch of uh, first 30 users here since we get this opportunity to search user we will use it for our personal interest so we want to see which of the users has single in their profile we will type single and hit search we will get single of oh how dear is the single of single x single flay we can use it more personal use because there are 1389 and i just need only one 